Yo, what's good, YouTube? Ravens Flock, man. What's going on, man? It's Gabe with the Dunk Fan TV, man. Back at you another video. All right, so yesterday we talked about the injury report. We kind of speculated who would be out, who would play. Uh, now the picture has gotten a lot more clear, so we got to actually talk about this right now. Now, the injury report is the same from yesterday, except for the fact that John Simpson is on here with uh, injury designation as personal. Right, so we don't know what that means. So hopefully everything's all right in his, you know, personal life and everything like that. So hopefully that's okay. Uh, but as far as everybody else goes, right now, the uh, the four guys from yesterday that were that did not practice, still did not practice today: Marcus Williams, Ronnie Stanley, Tyler Linderbaum, Marlon Humphrey. They have all officially been ruled out for this Sunday's game versus the Bengals. I talked about how this affects the game. Um, you know. Uh, Geno Stone, I think, is more than an adequate starter. I like what he does back there. I'm happy with that. Patrick McCarry, likely taking over left tackle for, um, excuse me, likely taking over left tackle for Ronnie Stanley. I'm okay with that. And also, uh, Mustafa taking over for Tyler in the bomb at center. To me, that's the biggest one. And Marlon Humphrey has already been out for, you know, week one. Now he's out week two. Hopefully, we see him all in week three, week four. Don't want to rush him back. It's a long season. All right, um, so the two I, the two we could talk about is the center, and the big news is that Mark Andrews was a full participant in today's practice. Now, why is that big news? One, obviously, you know, you, you want to see your guys go full go. But besides that, the previous two days, he was limited. So now you get a full day of Mark Andrews practicing um, on the last day that they have to report, you know, on the, on the actual um, injury report, which all signs point to the Ravens will have Mark Andrews this Sunday versus the Bengals. That's huge. That's huge for this offense. That's huge for Lamar Jackson, right? Now, the offense did a lot of things that I like. They also did some things that, you know, showed that they had a little rust and they were trying to work through some things that had a new offense. One of the main components that was missing was a big, solid target over the middle. We thought Isaiah likely could replace some of that. The opportunities just didn't arise for him, and it didn't happen, right? I'm not sure if Isaiah likely had a catch. He might have had one or two catches. I'm not even sure. Um, but the impact was minimal in that game. Right, as far as catching the football, okay. Mark Andrews, when he stepped on the field, automatic eyes draw to him. Yes, OBJ's here, Zay Flowers is here now, Rashad Bateman is back, right? But teams know that Lamar Jackson and um, Mark Andrews has a great connection, so obviously, attention is going to be drawn to that. And with attention drawn to that, now you get even more out your wide receivers, who to me had a good week last week, right. I thought Bateman played really well in limited snaps. He moved well. We know what Zay Flowers did, all the touches, all the yards he got in his debut. And OBJ, I talked about him yesterday. He had a good game to me, right? Only had one catch, but drawing two pass interferences, blocking really well down the field, showing effort, showing that he, you know, he's all in on this season, right? Not that I'm surprised by that, but it still is good to see it, right? So if you get Mark Andrews in the mix, got these watchers out here on the outside that are already making plays, being stand-up performers. Um, that bodes well for the Ravens offense. Uh, so I'm happy. I'm happy that Mark Andrews looked like he's going to play this Sunday versus the Bengals. Uh, we need all the firepower we can get, especially with the offensive line down. Speaking of the offensive line, we are, I've talked about this many, many times. The center is the biggest one. Can Sam Mustafer come in here and do the job that the Ravens need him to do? Can he be solid, right? Can him and Lamar Jackson communicate well? So there's no line protection breakdowns. Um, so everybody knows how they're going to try to block up the Bengals, right? And then the Bengals in the past have preferred and liked to blitz Lamar Jackson, right? So with that being the case, the offensive line's communication is going to be vastly important, right? Lamar Jackson can communicate the signs perfectly, but if Mustafer on the line can't, you know, distribute to the rest of the, rest of the linemen or there's any kind of miscommunications or confusion, because this is game is going to be on the road, right? So it's not like the Bengals crowd is going to be quiet for the Ravens on offense, right? So that is a challenge. Um, can they overcome that is the question, right? So that's what I'm looking out for. That's your Ravens um, stat game status report. You got four starters. Four starters are out for the Ravens. But they do get a starter back in Mark Andrews, which I think is a really, really big piece to this offense. And, hey, maybe this game goes back and forth. But I think the Ravens defense has had a um, a really good game plan for Joe Burrow, a really good game plan for Jamar Chase. Uh, Mike McDonald talked about, like, there's, there's no copying the, the Browns game plan, right? And, and when he said that, I was like, he shouldn't, he shouldn't have to copy the, uh, the Browns game plan because his game plan already worked. 
So Mike McDonald could do what he did last year with some tweaks. It's obviously you can't just run back the same thing, you know. They're professionals on the other side of the ball too. But run back is uh, his defensive adjustments from last year uh, with some slight uh, tweaks and adjustments. Um, the Ravens should have a good defensive showing once again, you know what I mean? So, uh, But that's your game status report, like I said. Uh, we will say it one more time. Um, Ronnie Stanley, Marcus Williams, Tyler Linderbaum, Marlon Humphrey out. Mark Andrews, full participant in today's practice. All signs lean towards him playing this Sunday versus the Bengals. And John Simpson, until we hear otherwise, I expect him to play as well. Personal could mean anything. Um, like I said, hopefully everything's okay in his, in his, you know, in his home life, that, you know, he's, he's okay. But until we hear otherwise, I'm just going to assume that John Simpson is playing, I, you know, until we hear otherwise. All right. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's how you got. Oh, Mark Andrews' official injury report designation is questionable, but I expect him to play. Anyway. That's it for me. Um, you know, leave, leave, leave your thoughts on the video, man. And uh, any concerns you might have going into this game, let me know. Uh, it's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.